All right, still setting up here, but you should be seeing the intro to the game now. As usual, this will probably start with about 10 minutes of absolute nonsense, so go ahead and skip that far ahead if you're watching the archive. Because I will admit, it's a little bit slapdash tonight. Other things going on. I'm gonna go ahead and tweet it out just so people. Hello, people. Hi. All my early people. How's everybody doing? Favorite part of the icons? I just like the robotic- I don't like the idea of collecting robotic eyes. It's kind of creepy. Things are going good here. Uh, I apologize for the delay. Other things happening. Uh, I'll be- Okay, you people are in here early. So you are the cool people. So, I'll go ahead and let you know, uh... Honestly, tonight got delayed for two reasons. Number one, I wanted to see, uh... I wanted to see the death battle, which ended up getting delayed, so... I'll have to wait till after the stream to see it. And two, there was a Glyos drop tonight, and it was a pretty frantic one. Uh, the store site crashed about two minutes in. Which I think is some kind of record, because there's a whole bunch of new stuff coming out tonight. <laughs> Why aren't I editing? Okay. I want every... Okay. Mace? Shut up. I was working till like 6 in the morning on Toy Sember recordings last night. I got up at 10 to start editing today's as well as start filming for other things and I've got uh, I've got a script that I need to format into something shootable for tonight I'm doing nothing but editing and video work <laughs> Geoger's secondary mecha uh I desperately hate the designs they're going with in that show. The suit designs are fine. I really, really hate the mecha design. It looks like something you build in Minecraft, which is not what I want out of a giant robot. Uh, will this... Uh, will the stream be going to 11 or 11.30? It will be going until this game is done. Because Thursday, we are streaming the Street Fighter V beta, and I don't want anything in the way. I don't want to have anything left off. Uh, in that regard, there is a little bit of grinding that I have done ahead of time. Not a lot, just I wanted to get the, uh, I wanted to get the stage exit item. That way we can go in and grab a few things a little bit more easily on stream. Am I going to take some time off for Star Wars? I'm actually going to take a lot of time off for Star Wars because we're doing a movie marathon. Uh, Danielle, if you've seen her in my videos, we're, uh, I'll be over at her house most evenings this week to watch 4, 5, 6, and then we, uh, we won't see episode 7 until Sunday. So there's a couple days where I will have to shut the internet off. Uh, do I have the waste issue on Combiner War Brawl? Kinda? Like, there's enough friction for it to stay, but I can see where that'd be a really, really weak connection, and I really hate the engineering to that waste. I don't like how the bottom half and the upper half of the toy are connected by a diagonal panel, and that's it. It looks terrible. Yeah, Brawl's kinda disappointing, especially because it was the first evidence that we might actually have uh, Computron on the way someday.
Uh, do I, what do I think of Kingdom Hearts? I like Kingdom Hearts. Um, there would be people playing Kingdom Hearts 3 that weren't alive when Kingdom Hearts 2 first came out. I don't like that about the series. So, I, I, don't, li I don't like how that series kind of got dragged on. Uh, do I think Killer Kill deserves a second season? Absolutely. I really like that show. I don't know where you'd go storyline-wise from there, but it would be awesome. Am I going to stream on Christmas Eve? Probably not. Uh, tomorrow is when uh, Final Fantasy VI comes out. I'm going to buy it and try it out a little bit just to see how it's see what it's like. Uh, and we'll see uh, just how people respond to the streams of it. I might do something for Christmas Eve. Probably not. We'll see. Yes, Mace, I am buying the Cloud Amiibo, despite my opinion of Final Fantasy VII. I'm completionist on the Amiibo for Smash Brothers at this point. You know, I like what I've seen of Bayonetta, but I've never played the game, so I need Bayonetta's. Uh, I don't like the Fire Emblem games, but I've got all of their Amiibo too. Uh, I didn't see the uh, I didn't see the continuity error in Gaim Gaiden. Don't tell me what it is. I haven't seen those yet. Uh, Miraculous Prime. I've seen I've seen Gurren Lagann. It's a little over the top for me as far as mecha anime go, but it's not bad. Let's see. Um. Do I still have Timothy and Jeffrey from Black Sky? Well, uh, not uh, one of them, no, because it was a cheap little solar bot that didn't really survive very well. The other one was just a Lego set. I still got the I still got the Lego set. I can rebuild him. Can I do Combiner War Blast Off or Plastic Addict? Absolutely not, because there's absolutely nothing wrong with that toy other than it's not a space shuttle, and that's not a reason to do an entire Plastic Addict review for it. One Pokemon as my roommate? Pet is one thing, roommate is another. I don't I don't know. Like generally I'd pick Scyther, but I don't know if Scyther would be a good roommate or not. I feel like he'd chop up the sheets to the bed. R.I.D. Steeljaw, I'm strongly considering it. That's one of those toys where I'm like, is it just me that I really don't like that toy, or do other people have the same issues with it I do? And it seems it seems like a lot of people have the same issues I do, so it's it'll probably end up on Plastic Addict at some point. Uh, thoughts on Dragon Ball GT? GT doesn't exist, so I don't know what you're talking about. I, mean, I, I don't. I've never heard of Dragon Ball GT or. Pan or Baby or Super 17 or any of that stuff, so we're not going to talk about the things I don't know anything about or don't acknowledge in any way. Maze, you would think that, but the clouds don't actually hide any, uh, they don't hide any pitfalls. Is there a common Rider that could stand up to Goku? Probably not. Depends on what Goku you're picking. Uh, thoughts on Superhero Tyson GP and Kamen Rider 4? Kamen Rider 4 is kind of meh. Um, I haven't seen the special yet, but I don't, I'm not really a fan of the design. I like the movie well enough, though. I haven't seen One Punch Man yet. I keep meaning to. Like, right now is like a really bad time to ask me, have you seen this? Because absolutely not, I have not seen this because I've been so freaking busy. Uh, Kath, do I know Vangelis? <laughs> really? <laughs> I've done a podcast with Vangelis every other week for seven years now. <laughs> I've never heard of the guy. Thoughts on R.I.D. Quillfire? I like the design. I'm waiting until I have the toy to j 
pass judgment on it. Did I do the voices for Timothy and Jeffrey? Yeah, I did. Those are, those are just little uh, squeaks and chirps. Nothing too hard to do. Alrighty, guys, it's about 10 minutes in, so uh, rather than bore you with punching in the uh, little numbers on the screen, we'll just jump right back to where we left off. So I did say that off stream, I went back and I grinded up the bolts to get the exit I item, and we did that so we can go get the rest of the rush icons. And we're going to start on Cloudman, because I should have gotten Cloudman's the first time through. I've thought about another 25 fact video. Just because the last one is so out of date, and some of the facts are completely made up because I was just goofing around with it. Boom. Well, Oh, you haven't seen Resurrection Epp? Aww. I saw Resurrection Epp in the theaters. It was awesome. Dragon Ball on a big screen. Yeah, real Dragon Ball on a big screen. Do I still own Cybertron Optimus Prime? Absolutely. Still my favorite. Uh, still my favorite Transformer. Uh, room tour wouldn't be as interesting these days because I've been... I've been selling as much as I've been buying lately, so the room doesn't really grow. Uh, there's just a lot of things that have been moved around, and a lot of things that aren't here anymore. So I don't think I don't think the room tour is going to be as interesting to watch. Do I own Optimal Optimus? Yes, I do. In fact, the Toy Sember videos, he's very visible there. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I, sh I, kn I knew where this one was, I just... I can never remember exactly where the platform is, and it's kind of... Need that bolt. Kind of sucks falling from here. Uh, anything new on my eBay? Um, I did put up the last of my motion revives in one big batch, and they're going for like five bucks a pop altogether. So there's that. Now I'm gonna make sure I get this instead of wasting time. Easy as that. Hang on. I, I hate, I hate, I hate that. I can never get used to the fact that B is cancel in this game. Yeah, I would watch Gal Gygar Project X in a heartbeat if it came out. Have I repro labeled any toys? The only one I repro labeled was my G1 Star Saber because the one I bought didn't have any stickers except for the uh, except for the factory applied ones. Too low, need to charge. Ghost and Goblin code for Shade Man? I don't know. I might have to go to his stage twice. It depends on if I, uh, depends on how I work that stage. The funny thing was, when I repro labeled Star Saber, uh, I got those repro labels. Uh, at the at the repro label booth at 
BotCon. The same BotCon I got Star Saber at. Open up. And about, I don't know, 10 minutes after, I went back to that booth and there was someone there who was going, do you have Star Saber labels? And the guy said, no, just sold the last set. Oh, he was angry. I laughed. I should not have laughed. Whoa. Well, what am I doing? I can get out of here now. I'm being silly. Still own all the toys for my top 10 Transformers? Yes, I do, actually. Alrighty. So, I believe that makes us good to go for the next round of bosses. Oh, actually, you know what? Hang on. Can I do Teen Titans Go for TJTV? No. Uh, TJTV is actually for older cartoons because newer ones are a little bit shady to do. Uh, also, I think that cartoon gets a enormously bad rap. Two five three. Yes, I think. Yes, I do think Slash Man is a prototype Slash Man. You want to rephrase that? Cat, the show sucks because it's made for a different audience, and a lot of people who think that show sucks just want a new Teen Titans cartoon. That's not the same as the show being bad. Jackie Chan Adventures for TJTV has been a plan for longer than you realize. Uh, my buddy Garrett and me were supposed to review that together. So, we'll see about that. I don't know if that's still happening, because man, he's busy these days. Uh, he actually... He got that guy with the glasses signed, so he's on uh, a bit more of a schedule these days. But I gotta get... I gotta get... Uh, I gotta get TJTV back up myself before I worry about any kind of crossovers. Let's see, uh, no, I didn't. I didn't vote for Bayonetta. Oh wait, hang on. Oh. Bayonetta didn't even cross my mind for Smash Brothers. Armor up. No, I don't need you. I need up here. Yeah, this the, 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 this thing's puny. Uh, fix that. The one. Oh wait, I forgot. I forgot it is down here. No, the one the one I voted like you know, like I voted Final Fantasy characters too like yo know, except my preferences go to like Terra and Kefka and that's because they actually meant something to the Super Nintendo unlike Cloud like Bayonetta is not a bad choice honestly and it's a very different character to include you know, has a lot more to do with Nintendo these days, thanks to, uh... You know, thanks to the, the uh, sequel being exclusive. 253, I knew who you are asking about. I don't think Slash... I don't think Slash Man's a prototype for Slash Beast. I think they're just based on the same idea of a slashing weapon. Okay, this is the, uh... How fast can you die segment of the stream? Because <laughs> I need to get out of this stage because we're supposed to be in Slashman's level right now, but I refuse to use the super. I want to use the super adapter, but the super adapter sucks unless you get the upgrade item for it. Cat. 
Cath, there's no impression on the planet that I can actually do. I'm killing myself to get out of this level. Because I want to do the, I want to do the bosses in order here, but that means the next boss I need to beat is Slash Man, and it's about as far else as far as I could get, really. All right. I thought of doing Quack Pack for TJTV. That seems it seems like a strange one to do. Second favorite Pokemon in Digimon. Oh, uh, that's... That's an iffy one. Like, for, the po for Pokemon, I really like Aron. Like, it's, it's just like the only reason I want to get, uh... The only reason I want to get Omega Ruby is so I can go catch me a uh, Aron again. Of course, I think I... Well, hang on, I missed up, missed up, messed up, messed up! <laughs> Absol, yeah, I really like Absol. I, I really like Absol's design, but Absol never goes well for me. All right, armor up. So we went, we went to Turbo Man stage because without that, the fist doesn't go across the screen. The fist doesn't go across the screen. Now it does. Now the fist homes in, and now the flight works better. Do I have a shelf for my fan donations? Um, some of them, the larger ones, are mostly gathered on one shelf. But, uh, like I'm not, I'm not trying to brag or anything like that. But like I don't have enough shelf space for all the things people have sent me over the years. Like I have, a, I have a bin set aside to make sure I don't accidentally sell any of it. I want to keep it and, you know, should the time come, review it. Uh, Jamie, uh, give me a give me about a week and we will be playing Final Fantasy VI. We'll be playing the Steam version with the updated graphics and whatnot that the iOS version had. I will really want to see what that one is like, because I really want to have a version of Final Fantasy VI that's easy for everyone to get and that I can easily recommend to people. More people need to play that game. No, back the other way. Thank you. An Armada roleplay toy you want my thoughts on? Um, willing to bet. Whoa, uh. How did I get successful? I wouldn't call what I do successful yet. Yeah, you know, because I'm I'm very proud of like what I've, you know, I'm very proud of how far I've come. But at the same time, it's not like I'm Markiplier or anything, getting a million subs a month. But it's 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 work. It is constant work. Like YouTube videos are not the easy thing a lot of people, will, you know, like to rag on you for. Like I've been at this for like seven years. You know, varying levels of seriousness have gotten me to where I am now. I'm trying to take things more seriously at this point. I really should not have been using this there, because... Whoa! Didn't even track the enemy that time. Okay, this isn't working. Too low on it. Why don't I use a face cam? Because I don't have a... I don't have a webcam for it. Like, I haven't bought a webcam, I haven't owned a webcam since I replaced it for, uh, for Plastic Attic. Alright, this is gonna be a little tricky. Death battle's begun, don't tell me anything. I want the surprise. Oh, oh this is not gonna go well. Slash Man is, uh... 
not the easiest fight. Can I do a crossover stream with Evangelist? Um, me and him keep really busy. I'm not entirely sure we can actually get our times to coincide for one of those. I don't even know what we would play co-op. Nope. I like how he just slides around on the ground after he gets hit. I hate these stupid eggs. They just drop randomly. There's no way to actually tell where they come from. Ah. Uh -huh. Ah, that was a really good fight. Would I ever do the decade version of Mega Man? I've answered that before. No, because I think it's a mess. I think the I think the author got too carried away with his own concept and made some bad decisions with it. Uh, uh, thanks, thanks for the offer on the webcam. Uh, go hold on to it, really. Um, especially with Christmas coming up, I know my family's probably gonna drop a few uh, pieces of equipment on me, so. I want to. Let's wait till after the holidays before we get to anything like that. Um, no PS3 account. Sorry. Uh, I don't. Ha I've not bought a PlayStation since the PS2. Like anything that has come out, I've been able to just buy online, and I, I've been able to play it on PC. Uh, second favorite Digimon is probably gonna be Gatomon. That 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 was that was me watching that show growing up. I, I was I was a you know I I was a TK and Kari fan. Still am really. Maybe that I'm pretty sure that's why I don't want to watch Digimon try because if they screw those two up, I'm going to be absolutely livid. Like, the only thing I've really taken away from Try so far without watching it is it looks like the ending to O2 is not canonical anymore because it's... Oh, oh. Oh, come on. You shot up there. Yeah, I don't... I don't like, uh... I, I didn't like this ending to see O2. But it looks like... It doesn't look like Try uses that ending. So, that part I'm interested to see where they go with it. See what's different. Well, uh, Tamers was a different series altogether. It had nothing to do with uh, the first two seasons. Uh, I say it's non-canonical now because the ending of O2... At the ending of O2, everyone on the Earth got a Digimon. So, like, suddenly being Digidestin wasn't exactly special. But... Uh, so far in Try, what I've seen of it, the Digimon are being kept hidden when they're in the real world. Which means Digimon are still a very secretive thing, which means the ending didn't happen. So now I really want to see where the story goes. I'm just scared of them screwing it up, is all. Um, Eccentric Cookie, I will not repeat the way you've described Bayonetta and Smash. That is weird. Like, that's instantly something that makes me think, does the ESRB rating change now? <laughs> like, I know Smash is teen rated, but Bayonetta's not a teen rated game. G1 Wheelie does not have enough material for a Plastic Addict episode, and G1 is still completely prohibited from Plastic Attic because it's not fair to compare to modern toys. Alright, up here first. Neat. Hang on. There we go. 
I always like that little trick. Hyperbolt. Fun level. They also hit a lot of stuff in this level. Uh, the hyper bolt is going to reduce the cost of items in auto shop, which is going to come in big handy later on when we need e tanks for the final boss. I will not. E I, I'm not going to need e tanks for the boss rush, but I will absolutely need them for Wily because this is, as someone mentioned before, pretty much known as one of the hardest final Wily fights. Street Fighter X Mega Man? I tried playing that. That seemed like a little bit unbalanced to me, which is probably because it's a fan game. All right, Slash Claw up. I love this color scheme, by the way. I love the green and yellow on this guy. Favorite titanium toy, R.I.D. Optimus. I keep meaning to review that one because it is a seriously good toy. Ah, I missed. If you time it right, I think... If you time it right, there's... A, if I remember right, there's supposed to be a way where you can slash him on the way up and completely stun lock him, but I, I've never been able to do it. Because my timing really sucks. But hey. Alright there. Yay! That's how that works. Missed again. Yeah, you can completely stun lock him if your timing is perfect, but it's like like two or three it's like two frames you have in order to hit it. And, okay, so I already reviewed Titanium RID Optimus. Okay. That will tell you how many random reviews I've done now. I can never quite remember them. Aw, oh, Harpies, thank you. Yeah, I love talking to Scott. Like, he's been in so much that I watched as a kid, it's really hard for me to actually run across uh, anything. It's, it's hard for me to run out of things to ask him. and Just, like, getting to, like, turn my favorite voice actor growing up into my friend now is still an amazing thing to me. It's one of the things that I'm always going to love Metrocon for giving me the chance to do. Uh, go say wonder I don't have enough pretenders or action masters to actually do uh, an analysis on those gimmick lines. Alright, so. We got the hyperbolt, so we'll go ahead and do the little animation. Ask him the one time he voiced Jesus. <laughs> I got him to sign the DVD of him where he uh, voiced Jesus. That was funny. Hey. Here. Take your bolt. Does it? It looks bigger than your head. Now I can stop slacking off. Can now make items using half the normal number of bolts. Because somehow that works like that. I don't know. I'm making this up now. Alright, so. Now everything is half off. That's going to help immensely. Again, S can, which will refill everything. I can also get the rush jet, which I already have. I can also get the Search Rush, which I already have. I can also get the Hyper Rocket Buster, which I already have. A 
I'm gonna hold off until I can get the energy equalizer. I'm pretty sure there's somewhere in the game where I can actually dig one up, but I can never remember where it is. Shade Man. This is going to be our next encounter with Proto Man as well. Am I going to review Bruticus? Which one? I've got the Fall of Cybertron, and I've got, uh, well, I've got four out of five for the new one. Yeah, so for those who don't know, Shade Man has two routes. One where I can target the inner... There's going to be a boss coming up where, depending on where I decide to target to do damage, it will let me take one path or another. I need to... I need to take... I need to target its core in order to take the Proto Man route. And that's what we're more concerned with right now. When I have Combiner War Bruticus, can I review him? Maybe. One of the toys I've technically already reviewed, because Swindle's just a rook remold. How do robot zombies work? Okay, so in this game, the th the theme of the the secret theme of Mega Man 7 that you don't pick up on as a kid is that Wily just got out of jail. So he hasn't had time to build an entire new robot army or anything to stop Mega Man. So instead, so instead he went and captured four more robot masters, reprogrammed them, and took over their locations. This is a haunted house. This is literally like a theme park attraction that Wily has taken over. So those zombies are just, uh, zombies are just part of the show. He just made them evil. Yes, I reviewed Combiner War Hotspot, so technically I've already done Onslaught as well. But I will I will be completely upfront. I did a terrible job at reviewing Hotspot. I got the transformation so wrong on that toy. So I actually wouldn't mind reviewing it again. Ah, Proto Man, you're supposed to be here. Was it Turbo Man's? I I always think it's Turbo Man's level last. Okay, I think I, okay, I got him backwards. Okay, we'll just we'll just do it. We'll just do it the other way. Not a big deal. Well, we don't have the flame wheel, so... <laughs> okay, that was not intentional. <laughs> Favorite common Rider? Another common question. Uh, Gills. Have you never seen common Rider Agito? Well, I was gonna say do yourself a favor and go watch it, but... Uh, Agito's a little bit hard to swallow if you aren't used to, like, the old cinematography style. Do I still own Victor- what? I never owned Victory Land Cross. Oh, oh, the, uh, the DX MicroMaster version. No, I don't. No, that one went away. Just because, like, I wasn't really- I didn't really have any attachment to Land Cross. Like, outside of it's a little bit of, uh... A little bit of Japanese G1 I wouldn't normally have had, but it really didn't appeal to me too much. Well, I've accidentally shown you both ways of beating the pumpkin now. Favorite Final Fantasy job class? That's kind of a weird question, because my favorite job class... My favorite games in that series didn't have job classes. Like, I'm... 
I guess, technically the monk, just because I really liked playing as Sabin. Uh, Gosei, honestly, wasn't a fan of Gosager. Like, I don't know, it just, it felt uneventful to me. I, I couldn't get into it. Ah. Okay, that sucked. I forgot this, uh... There's some things that the super adapter just is not good at beating up, which is really unfortunate. But yeah, this stage is full of little tricks like that. Everything turning... Everything turning dark on you. Would I do a Final Fantasy cosplay from number six? I don't know. Like, Final Fantasy cosplays are really involved. Hi, Wily. It's Dr. Wowie. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, oh for, uh, I forgot to uh, look under Wily. I forgot to dig. Yeah. I remember there's something under Wily. I forgot. Also. If you didn't notice, base cursed in a Super Nintendo game. <laughs> I didn't even mean to skip by that so fast. We are a team. Oh, sure. <laughs> he is so full of it. Will I, will I review Generations Hardhead when it comes out? Maybe. Like when it comes to like the random review, like I just pick whatever I'm in the mood for. You know that doesn't always mean. Ah, this is another one you can stun lock, but you need really good timing on it. Which I am not getting on this one. Whoa! No! 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 Get off! Get off! Get off! I'm not getting my slides in on time. Okay. I'll go for a big one. The big charge does not... Like... The big charge, for some reason, doesn't stun him. Which is... Helpful. Andrave, you brought up vampires? Are you kidding me? You're not supposed to remember that show. No one's supposed to remember vampires. That's one of those shows that's like programmed to subconsciously delete itself from your memory. You can't remember vampires. I've got a few DVDs of it, and I barely remember vampires. But yeah, that show was absolutely horrible. This show was horrible. Some of the worst CGI I've ever seen. Oh yeah, like Vampires has a date with TJTV. I don't care how long it's been since I've done TJTV. It's going to be reviewed. Vampires is what happens when they try to cross like big like big bad Beelborgs with Transformers with uh, like Beast Wars CGI except it's cheap mid 90s CGI. It's an abomination. 
It is literally, like, it's going, it's, like, if I ever do, like, a top ten worst shows I've ever reviewed, that one's gonna be up there. It's gonna be way up there. Gargoyles? Gargoyles was good. Gargoyles was extremely good. That's one of those shows I wish they'd revive now that Marvel and Disney are one in the same. Uh, I like Beetleborgs ironically these days. Like, I will admit it is like the low tier of Tokusatsu, but I kind of I kind of enjoy it for what it is. Guys, we don't need a Turbo Man that transforms. We need more like Robot Master toys in general. Like D Arts, get on that. I want my Storm Eagle. I want my you know like I want Iceman and Cut Man, and I want the I want the main cast. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get Proto Man this time. I shouldn't have got him when I was here the first time, but I I got the two backwards. I got I got the two meeting points backwards. Noah, I am not. <laughs> I am not your dancing monkey, Noah. I will not say cheesy Transformer cartoon lines or uh, commercial lines. Though I will always refer, I will always refer to him as the big bad Dudicus. It's, it's one of the more absurd lines I have ever, ever heard. Me. There he is. Can I do Mighty Ducks for TJTV? I already have. Yes, I've collected the plates. Cool. <laughs> yes, Proto Man, we figured this out. That's ominous. Do I own a G1 Megatron? Yes, I do. Wait, hang on. I really like... G1 Megatron was the first toy I, like, really set out to find. Dig it up, 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 way up. There we go. I don't remember where a lot of those are, but I remember that one. Boom. Oh, and it's right in a section that's not gonna let me use that. Okay. Oh no! Oh no, I forgot about that! <laughs> That's such a cheap trap! What do you guys mean, Greymon versus Charizard thoughts? I've been streaming, and I will remind people not to spoil the results! down down no I slid I slid actually in death battle just saying someone wins is a spoiler cuz they've had ties like Chuck Norris versus Sega to Sanchiro is still going on All right, here we go. If we 
If we ever do Mega Man 2, you'll see the original version of that in Quick Man's stage, and it's even bigger nightmare than this one, because you don't have a slide in Mega Man 2. Shoot his eyes out! Shoot his eyes! Stop blinking! <laughs> I like how everything that's blown up on him is not his eyes, in spite of the fact that's literally the only thing I could hit. Alright. I don't know why the noise crush is the only thing that hurts him, but hey. Okay, there is a trick to kill him in one shot. There is a trick to kill him before the, the stage even begins, but you really have to nail it. It's a, super tricky timing. We'll beat him barely though. Like it's kind of, it's kind of neat they have animations for when they really get injured, but it really is easy to stun lock him because of it. Thoughts on Combiner Wars Skylinks? None, really. I'm waiting for the toy to come out for me to actually have thoughts on it. I wish it had. I wish it had gone to a new mold for like Scattershot or something. I wish it was a leader class. Like I really would have dug that toy as a large leader figure. But as like a Voyager with combiner elements, it just seems like, eh, it's a thing. Oh no! I was literally gone five seconds! Is that you, Mega Man? I have so many blue robot children, I can't tell you about it anymore. Thoughts on Akuma and Tekken 7? It's kind of weird. It really is. It's weird that Akuma is in Tekken 7 as a storyline element. That's bizarre. It also reminds me, I still haven't heard anything about Tekken Cross Street Fighter in, like, years. Now, right there in the middle, we have Dr. Wawi. But we will hold off on Dr. Wawi, because we do have some unfinished business. Do I know Scott McNeil? Uh, except you, you count the part where I see him twice a year as knowing him. Alright, so yes, we've seen the stage before, but now we're actually going to face off with Proto Man properly. Ah. Boom, 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 boom. 
Savage Noble for Plastic Attic? I don't know. Savage Noble's a weird toy, but I, nothing about that toy offended me too much. I, that's that's one to reevaluate. Alrighty. Let's try this one more time. It seems like you and I have done this song and dance many times tonight, Jack-o'-lantern. Okay, I actually do need to concentrate a little bit because I'm getting low on health and I do actually need to fight Proto-Man. Let's never mind. Never mind! I'm a goof. Thoughts on the giant night scream from Beast Machines? It's not horrible. It's a clear plastic nightmare, but other than that. Uh, thoughts on Generations 2016 Buzzsaw? I actually have Buzzsaw already. It's, uh, it's a thing. It actually feels, it actually, uh, I will admit, feels pretty cheap, especially compared to, like, uh, Shockwave, who I got at the same time. So, brother. I'm not supposed to know you're my brother! We've been over this. That's a translation error. He's actually a much more intense fight than most of the bosses. There's no... He doesn't fall into a pattern when he, he gets hit by the buster. And he takes a lot of hits. Take my shield. Didn't help me against you, but maybe you can use it better than I can, even though you've never used it before. And watch your back. Yay! I get the proto shield. Supposedly Wily created the Proto Shield for him, so that's kind of weird. Alright, so... I think that makes us good to go. We're gonna hit the shop one more time. That's going to help us out. We'll come back if we need it, but I'm not anticipating it for now. A 
favorite Mortal Kombat character? Um, it's kind of tough. I can really do like Mortal Kombat X, but I don't know. Like, I don't want to fall into like the typical well, Scorpion Sub Zero, but I kind of do. Uh, two, five, three. I don't want to get. No, I'm sorry, Kobaxite. This is not the best Wily team. That belongs to Mega Man 2. That's still the best bit of music that uh, that the Nintendo ever churned out. What's with Wily and the Skulls? He's a bad guy. He's a mad scientist. He doesn't need a reason to love Skulls. He's evil. So skulls. And I know 253, there's still something in Wyatt in that uh in Shade Man stage. I don't want to get bogged down in like every little thing I could grab here. Like I don't want to go after like too many of the make the mega bolts or anything like that. We'll just We're good. I can handle them with this. Fly! Did I see Death Battle yet? I have literally been streaming the entire time Death Battle has been airing. Naturally, I have not. Uh, I usually do a vlog on Christmas just because for some people... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Okay, that was close. Whoa. Okay, the layout of those platforms was not agreeing with me. That was slightly terrifying. But like I said, oh you. You are far too weak, Mega Man. Why we may fear you. But I do not. What makes a Bia Swerve so special? Well, he wasn't sold in any toy store for starters. Um, for a long time, the only way to get him was from, uh, was actually from, uh, Chevy's store in, somewhere in the U, somewhere in Europe. Like, I want to say, like, Denmark, something like that. It's, like, really weird. Like, a really weird sh shop. And after that, a Veo Swerve was only available at certain, uh, Chevy events as a reward for taking a survey that you could select. So it's a very bizarre toy. Very strange history. Do I still own Armada Hotshot? Absolutely. I own everything. I everything I review for Plastic Addict, I still own. Oh no. It's the guts dozer. Oh, that's that's not gonna let me do that. Ow. Okay, I uh, forget what works well against him. Well, Slash Claw doesn't do too bad. Ow, man. It's such a fast reaction. Of course, I can just slash him too. Ah, I forgot that happened. Is that by design or something to never sell off? I don't sell off anything I ever show on Plastic Attic just because if I ever need it again, I need to have it. How is Brawl bad? Well, the waist the the engineering around his waist section is horrendously bad. It's very it's very loose, it's very shoddy construction. He's also like mine is bad. Like, worse than the waist on mine was the elbow. Or, uh, the shoulder. Because the shoulder's on a double hinge. One, one of the hinges is, one of the hinges is pinned. The other one is not. 
And the one that wasn't was very loose on mine, so as soon as I pulled his arm out to transform him, gone. Pops back on, but man, it's a flimsy joint. And yes, I still own a Veo Swerve. Why did I get Hot Shot? Because around our Armada, you didn't have YouTube with a bunch of reviewers telling you, don't buy this toy, it's terrible. So you just bought whatever was on the toy shelf, and hopefully it was good. That's what Plastic Addict is. It is me going back through all the toys I bought, unaware of how bad they were when they were in the store. Two five three, like uh, I know there's something in Junk Man's level. I'm not going to go get it. I'm sorry, I'm not. Oh, you know you know what? There is something I should go get though. Okay, hang on. We'll get through we'll get through this stage and then we'll actually go and do what I was supposed to do. Yeah, for some reason this entire stage is very turtleized. Whoa! Forgot about them. Where did they even come from? Oh, Well, I guess that uh, pretty much decided what I'm going to do next. Like, uh, 253, spell it out for me. What what are you, what do you want me to find in Junkman's level? Just to... Just to confirm. Alpha Bravo for not a stupid price? Did the... Uh, I made the same mistake. I went to look at the chat and missed my jump. <laughs> the exact same thing I already did. Like, did Alpha Bravo shoot up? Because I, I don't pay attention to the to like the resale on new toys. I've kind of been thinking of selling off mine just because uh, I I don't really care like I find I like the other ones better that are actually based on the original combiners I thought of selling off-road too because off-road is pretending to be my favorite stunt con Almost all the way to the end here. Alright, that'll go. Uh dude, I answer a favorite transformer toy a lot in this in this chat, so like I know you're I know you want I know you want to know and you've been repeating the question a lot, dude, but like I don't want to bore everyone else by repeating the same answers I've given like every stream. No, the fav the favorite toy, the favorite Transformer toy is Cybertron Optimus Prime. Okay, just stand there. I don't mind this. Not the most clever girl, are you? All right, now we can <laughs> deforestation. Slash and burn. 
All because I'm trying to find a ladder. Which is right here, so I didn't really need to find it. The, the tiny diecast one or the big or the big Cybertron Prime, they're both really cool. I've got both. Fly free! How did you get here anyway? With that done, now we have we have rush whistle or uh, beat whistles, which will save me if I uh, fall into a gap. That's helpful. Uh, I, keep it. I hate I hate that the B button is. Well, oh, never mind. Okay, okay, just to get it out of the way, let's see, what do you want me to find in Jumpman's level? Okay, um... Two, five, three, I don't... I have no idea what you're trying to make me do. I found something. Two, five, three? Dude? I only have... Like, I blocked the stream out for two hours for a reason. Okay? Like, if you have something serious to help me out with, that's fine. But don't... Don't make me go hunting Easter eggs like that. Like, I want to be able to finish the stream for everybody. I want to be able to finish the game for everybody. And not hold everybody up. For little things like that. Is Eddie in the game? Actually, I don't think he is. All we get of Eddie is that gigantic one that I entered for the shop. Oh yeah, I think Eddie actually makes a cameo in Auto Shop, so he's helping out there. Like, okay, like I'm not saying it's like I'm not saying it's not a cool Easter egg. It is. It's a little Game Boy showing up, but. You know, I, I, I don't want I don't want to waste anyone else's time going after yeah you know, I don't want I don't want to waste anyone else's time is the thing all right back on track Oh, come on. There we go. Least favorite thing about Super Mario Maker? Lack of power-ups. Like, I understand limitations because they're trying to make stages that work in any style, but man, I wanted all the power-ups back. Oh, here we go. Trouble time. Like, 253, it's okay. It's it's okay, man. Like I like the I like the Easter egg dude. Just time and place, I guess. Ah, 
That ah. What if Star Wars Episode Three were good? I never heard of that. No idea what you're talking about. Uh, gospel. Uh, Dante. It was forte and gospel. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, your wait is, yeah, 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 the wait is over. Yes, yes, I know. We've been through this. Burn an E-tank. Burn we will. I don't feel I don't feel like redoing this fight again. Just to, just for the sake of showing off. I actually I actually kinda like bat I, I kinda like bass with wings. I, I keep calling them bass because of stupid Mega Man 8. Why is there no D art of, of base? There is. There is a D art of base. It was a web exclusive in Japan, so it's not as widely known about. Oh, joy, more fire. Ow. Ow, that's my head. My burned, toasty, scarred head. Ow! Ow! I am not good at this room. Ow! <laughs> uh, do I have an interest in building Bandai Gundam models? Um. Very limited. Uh, it, it really depends on the Gundam model. Like, I tried the mini plot thing, and I, I don't know. I, I I know a lot of people who are like really into mini plot, and it just did nothing for me. The gun plot, I should say. Boss time. I'm forgetting what the bosses are here. Oh, right. Giant turtle. We're fighting Gamera. We are literally fighting Gamera. That Gamera did inspire this boss. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Wrong side, wrong side. This is not good. I don't have many lives. Yeah, I think I shouted you out, Ojunix. Like, I know, it, like, when I do random review, it's a little bit iffy. Because I'm just kind of doing it off the cuff, but... I'm usually really good about that in Plastic Addict if something's been donated. Whoa. Oh, it came up from under me. Okay, we need to take this a little bit more seriously now. I forget what hurts him. Hmm. 
Not that. Not that. That's it. This, yeah, this fight gets a little bit in there, so excuse me if I go silent in the chat a little bit. I need to focus. Thank you for not stopping there. I nearly died. Ah, stop that! I'm trying to get two shots in at a time here. To the spring then. No! Mm. I am going to run out of springs at this rate. That's done. Alrighty, so. We can go one more. I'm trying to hold off going into the shop. Do we absolutely need to? DBZ figure arts. Not as many as I used to. Uh, TFX pr uh, Prima, uh, if you've got something you'd like to donate, then you need to message me here on YouTube, which you go to my profile, go to About, and it'll give you a link to send me a message. Uh, I, I, I don't, uh, I, I, you know, like, You know, that's that is not something to discuss in uh, in the public eye so I do appreciate the thought though I don't even know what the thought is yet but uh. would I survive a zombie outbreak nope <laughs> not a chance I would be food Yeah, you got nothing. You can't stop the proto shield. You can't get through it. The proto shield is just a little bit broken. Just because the the only real downside to it is you can't start you can't move while firing with it. But that's only if you, uh, 
traps. That's only if you start firing, like from here. If I run first and then fire, oh, I can run all over the place. Don't make a difference. Okay, I want that one up. So, get rid of him. Like, T like TFX, like, do you that's how you PM on YouTube. Like, you go to my profile, like my main YouTube page, there's a tab that's marked About, you click on that, and in the About section, there is Send a Private Message. That's how you do that. And you have to tell me because the chat won't remember your name, so I have, so, uh, like, I have to kind of rely on you to contact me because I won't remember how to contact you. Oh, geez. Okay, hang on. Need armor up. I love the look of this armor, by the way. This is, like, one of my favorite little power-ups Mega Man ever had. This is what I wanted his final Smash to be in Smash Brothers, but I will completely accept the... Uh, the all Mega Man attack they gave him. That's very cool as well. Should have probably stayed on the high path, but... This is what we're doing now. Yeah, I think that's actually too high. I don't think I can get up there with Rush. I have lives. Did I read the Sonic Mega Man team up? Yes, I did. Uh, the first one I thought was a really cool little crossover thing, just for the sake of being goofy. Uh, I really thought the I thought the second one was absolutely pointless and was very poorly timed, considering both both were so close to anniversary issues. Yeah, this is the one with instant death spikes floating above me. I hate this one. Yeah, because right there, it's a complete sucker trap. Thank you. Alright, I want the upper path here, so... Or that, he could just despawn himself. That works too. Do I play Yu-Gi-Oh? I used to. I've still got my old Yu-Gi-Oh deck, which is highly like, illegal now. Do I order from CS Toys? Um, I used to. I used to order from CS Toys. No real reason that I stopped, just that I was having better luck finding what I need at other shops. Why does that laser make a tire screeching noise? Let me go back to the noise crush. I keep thinking the Thunderball does more than it actually does. Or uh, hurts more enemies than it actually does. And no, I don't play Dice Masters. Not even sure I'm familiar with it.
Don't know why, Wily, but this is the most Japanese robot you've ever built. Like, seriously, dude. This boss is like floating kabuki taito drum firing cannon. I don't know. Yes, yes, Ojunix, the world needs more state- the, the world needs more games where you ride on missiles. No, the, no, the cartoon version of Dr. Wily is German. This Dr. Wily is, uh, we don't know. <laughs> Okay, let me see if I've got the bolts for what I want. Figma or Figuarts? I'm generally a Figuarts person, but that's mostly just because they they release more things that I'm interested in. You know, Kamen Rider, Sentai, they're doing amazing looking Ninja Turtles. The Figmas I've gotten have been really, really good though. He-Man or Thundercats? Ugh. You're tearing my childhood in half there, dude. I've been in a big He-Man fix lately. But that's because I have, like... I have the sword now. Would I buy Rebel Tech Tigrex? Absolutely. I... I try not to make it a secret anymore. I hate Rebel Tech. I... I, I really feel like the joint system is... Oh, ah, I wanted that. I, 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 he, I feel like, uh, I, I feel like the Rebel Tech joint should be good. It should be good. But just for some reason, it's not. Shade Man first. Yeah, I can't stream Bayonetta. Note in the bottom left. PG. Do I still have the Rebel Tech Skeleton Warrior? No, I don't. A really cool toy, but just out of place in my collection. That's how that's done. Uh, I'm aware of the one-hit kills in this game. 253. Uh, Dante, I don't record the chat like a lot of streamers do, specifically because I don't know what people are going to say in the chat. So, the chat is just whatever it is. Okay, who's next? I have no idea. Cloud Man. Oh, good. Are there going to be any more Sentai figure arts? Apparently in Japan, they sell terribly, so no. And the only ones that really sell are the ones that people in America are nostalgic for. So I think Aka Ranger is going to be the last one. Stun lock, stun lock. Thoughts on Fall of Cybertron Onslaught? Is he going to be on Plastic Addict? I feel bad for reviewing those individually because they're clearly not meant to be reviewed individually. Just because Onslaught is not great. Onslaught ain't great, but... Freeze, man. But, like, Onslaught has to sacrifice a lot to make those combiners work. 
So for that, uh, for that, I kind of give him credit. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try something a little bit here. Hang on. <laughs> okay, there you go. There's Easter eggs for you. <laughs> All right, let's let's actually take him out. So yeah, you hit him with his own weapon and he starts posing for you, which is hilarious. Next up, Slash Man. Now I really do need the Freeze Cracker. Ah, oh, that fall right into one. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, will I play Evolve? No. Evolve is one of those... Uh, Transformers Prime smokescreen for Plastic Addict? Absolutely not. That toy's a little bit problematic, but still pretty good. Um, but no, Evolve is one of those kind of flavor of the month games where people are really into it and then, like, most players just completely fall out just because there's not a whole lot of substance to the game. Like, it wears a little bit thin. There's a... There's a ton of games like that, and I felt the only time I fell for it was Titanfall. I thought Titanfall was going to be amazing, and the gameplay in Titanfall really is, but there really is just not enough variety in that game. None. And I hate the lack of single player. Single player games, like the lack of single player in games that are, uh, the lack of single player modes means you're renting a game for a long time. Eventually, uh, the server is going to go down when people aren't playing it anymore, and that means you're not going to uh, you're not going to have your game anymore. I don't. I hate that. Splatfest, naughty or nice? <laughs> I feel bad because I haven't participated in a Splatfest in a long time, which is unfortunate because I love those games. I absolutely love Splatoon. Can I play Five Nights at Freddy's? Absolutely not. I, I, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm not a horror game guy, and The Armor Digivolution line toys? I don't have any. Yeah, Star Wars... Yeah. Yeah, Star Wars Battlefront had like $120 special editions. And there's already modes in that... There's already online modes in that game that are really hard to get a room for because not enough people are playing those modes. It's shocking. Like how much hype that game had and how much work went into that game. And now there's already modes that people just aren't playing because the user base just isn't there for it. Which is like really unfortunate. That's what I mean by flavor of the month video game.
This is one of those weird bosses where it's actually probably easier to fight him with just the buster rather than his weakness. Like, he, he takes serious damage. He takes serious damage from the flame burner, but... It's just not... It's just not as effective in this fight. Alrighty then. Pretty sure I need that for this fight. Um, what else do I need? I can't remember what hurts him the most. Oh well. Time to die a lot. My favorite game ever kind of floats between Final Fantasy VI and Chrono Trigger. Like, those are two of the... Those two games shaped a lot of who I am as a game. You're fired, Rush. Will I play League of Legends? Nope. Not a MOBA guy. Never have been. Won't play Halo either. I've never liked Halo. You got something hanging out of your nose thing. Just making sure you're aware. Have I played Fire Emblem Awakening? No. Fire Emblem is another of those games where I'm just not too big on it. I don't like I don't like the idea of my characters dying permanently in that game. Yeah, so apparently the storyline to this game where Wily is just like throwing last minute things together to fight Mega Man with, apparently in that, this robot is supposed to have a lot more going on, but it's completely unfinished. Do I own any of the Chrono Trigger Super Nintendo carts? Somewhere, I think I still have my original cartridge. It's been a long time since I peeked into that. Alright. Now, here's why this fight is so hard. The shots are really hard to avoid. And nothing really hurts him. Like, I'm gonna use the freeze cracker here because it lets me direct my shots a little bit. Like, the only real thing I could actually do that would actually, like... And the, he doesn't really have anything that does, like, a stun lock. Other than... If I hit him with the Thunderball... Well, no, that's, the Flame is the last one I want to get hit with. Nope, and of course that's the one I keep getting hit with. Alright, we're going to abuse some E-Tanks here. It's not the impressive way to fight, but that's what we're going to do. Stop firing fireballs at me! Yeah, if I hit him with a Thunderball, it would actually make him use his lightning attack a little bit faster. Which really doesn't help me other than it cancels out his generic shot. No, that didn't work either. Whoa, that was... That was too close. I am actually going to try and Thunderbolt him a little bit here. Yeah, see, that doesn't hurt him. It just cancels out his shot, which does not help me. Nope. Missed the jump. You'll also notice I am running out of Freeze Cracker. Mm. 
No! Ugh, figured I would miss all the others just to get hit by the fireball. Ugh, you're kidding me. I hate to, like, I hate to just rely on E-Tanks for this because it's so cheap, but this is a really, really cheap boss. Like, Inafune in interviews said, like, specifically said, let's make this boss really, really hard. There's the first, the first round of shots I actually missed. Uh, he won't come down here. Stop spawning so high. Yeah, I think the only dignity I might have is beating him without resorting to the S-Tank. Which, if he keeps doing that, I will have to do. I'm gonna have to do that. Because he keeps spawning up there where I can't reach him. Not a proud victory. But I will take whatever victory I can get. Now here's the really fun part. Because the American translators played around a little bit. He's going to go quietly. Oh, dude, that wasn't well played. Let's be honest, that was not well played. <laughs> Robots cannot harm humans. That's not in the original version of the game. <laughs> late Mega Man. He who hesitates is lost. We shall return. So yeah, in the original Japanese version, Mega Man just kind of stands there silently staring down Dr. Wily. Like, when Wily calls him out, No, no, you can't shoot me. Robots can't hurt humans. Mega Man hesitates. Which is why Bass brings up that quote. But, in America, I don't know why. They felt that was a little bit weak. So instead, they just have Mega Man go, You know what? I'm going to kill you. <laughs> yeah, it's a little... Ojunix, it's a little bit weird. Like, that's not who Mega Man is. Like, it really isn't. But for some reason, just like they decided to make it a little bit more serious during the translation. Will I ever do a fan meetup? I honestly I don't feel like I have enough fans to do a meetup. Like the most time the most I see fans are, are is at MetroCon. I run into a lot of people there that know me.
Which is the better version? I guess that just depends on your personal taste in storytelling. Like, I kind of like... I. There's part of me that actually likes how stern Mega Man is being. Like, you know what? I'm done with this. This is the seventh time we've been through this, so... No, you're just gonna come back and... You're just gonna come back and do this again, so... Nope, you're gone. But... At the same time, I like the ambiguity of the Japanese way of doing it. Like, that in that story where he just... Mega Man doesn't put the gun down, he just hesitates without shooting Wily. And it makes you wonder, could he have done it? In the American version, it's very direct and blunt. There is no ambiguity. He was going to kill Wily. But in the Japanese version, you're left to wonder, is he more than a robot? Is he actually capable of that? It makes you think a little bit. Which I guess, like, as far as, like, video games go, as far as, like, the original Mega Man games, is probably as much, you know, in-depth storytelling as they've ever done. Because Mega Man games are not exactly known for their deep storyline. <laughs> yeah, Kobokside, I don't count Wily War since it's mostly a retelling outside of a few extra stages at the end. Okay, 253, yeah, this ending did actually did actually justify why X had to be tested to make sure, like, he wasn't going to be a harm to humans. So that's a little interesting. Yeah, okay, yeah, um, I know it was... Uh, gaming Apocalypse, I use OBS to record, which is completely free. It lets me it lets me include the overlays like you see. I could include the chat room if I want to include the chat room. Uh, it basically lets you record whatever window you want on your computer. Like right now, I just have it set to my SNES emulator. Uh, it's all it also and it also works with uh, any game you have on Steam. And if you have a capture device, it lets you work with capture device as well which is one of the things I'm looking for to be under the Christmas tree this year by the way is some kind of capture device better Minecraft or Roblox I'm big on Minecraft like I think the longevity of Minecraft kind of speaks for itself at this point And we're back home. I don't think it's the same cliff that Mega Man X keeps finding himself on every time he beats Sigma. That'd be a little weird. Uh, Rush, you ruined the shot! I like how Mega Man's just standing there staring at him judgingly. He's not even standing casually like everybody else. He's just... glaring. Thank you for playing. Uh, Shovel Knight on stream? I don't know. Like, I keep... I get that request, but I... It wasn't too long ago I beat Shovel Knight, so I'm like, I'm really not in the mood to play it again. Like, I wouldn't mind streaming it, but I want to I wanna give it a little while until I'm in the mood to play it again. Uh, Go say Wonder, favorite G1 Bruticus deco? Yeah, it'd be Ruination. It'd be the Japanese Ruination, though. It's a little weird how much they changed on the American one. Uh, will I play Mega Man X4 through 8 or Mega Man Zero? Um, I've got all of those. Uh, I could stream Mega Man Zero, that'd be easy. Uh, Mega Man, f okay, Mega Man f X4 and 5, I'm willing to stream. X6 is a disaster of a game. X6 is horrible. So, absolutely not that one. 
Absolutely not. Unless I feel like really, really being in pain one day. Which has happened. We did Beast Wars after all. Uh, yeah, if you got a suggestion for a game, yeah, go ahead. Like, I like to hear what people want me to stream. Like, I hear the requests for Shovel Knight and the Shovel Knight DLCs. What about X7? I would play X7 any day over X6. X6, you... Stages in X6 are so badly designed and programmed. There's a lot that you can't get through. There's a lot of levels in the boss stages that you can't get through without taking enormous amounts of damage. Or you have to have the exact right armor in order to be able to clear through the level. Which means it's badly badly programmed. Uh, Transformers War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron I get too. I get a lot of requests for that. And I need to go back and finish them. Because I started playing both and I never finished either one of them. It'd probably be Fall, it'd probably be Fall of Cybertron because it feels like a more polished game than, than uh, War for Cybertron did. Uh, TFX, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna vlog my, my present opening with my family. That's, uh, that's, that's a family thing. I don't, I don't want to put them in videos or anything like that. Uh, uh, zero one, uh, Mega Man Zero, one through four are doable. X7 and X8 is another one I'll have to wait for a capture card. I don't know how those run on emulators, so I'm not gonna try. I've had too many problems with PS2 emulation. Uh, Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows. Maybe. I have not played that. Uh, Arm Transformers Armada for PS2. That is a big one. That one I definitely want to get to someday, but that's another one that has to wait for a capture device. Because, uh, just for some reason, funny enough, nobody really wants to play that game. <laughs> so no one's really worked on getting an emulator to play it right. Star Wars movie realizations, I actually don't know. Like, I don't follow enough uh, Star Wars stuff to really know what you're talking about on that one. Like, I, I, I'm sorry for the non-answer, but... Double Dragon Neon. Yes, Mace, I know you want to play Neon. We'll have to do Neon at some point. Like, this is... Like, like, th like Neon would work for this stream, but... My month is books. Like I know, I know everything. I'll be streaming for the rest of the month, and then we'll see in January. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I. Yeah. Well, I'm not quite. Uh, I'm not quite at my usual mark yet. So I'm just kind of sitting here chatting with you guys. So I'm glad the end music isn't too bad. Uh, Rise of the Dark Spark will never be played because that is pretty bad. <laughs> that was not a good game. Metal Arms Glitch in the System. The name is familiar, but I've never actually played it. Uh, Mega Man Zero 1 through 4, I could... I don't, I don't need a capture card. I could play that. I could play those games. Those are a lot longer than your typical Mega Man games, though. So I'd really have to kind of double-check to see which ones would be a little bit smoother to play. Uh, yeah, I actually do like Combiner Wars. It's getting repetitive, but... It's still, they still produce some good toys. Uh, Super Contra. I really don't want to stream anything Konami. Because screw Konami. TF Prime, the game I have. That's another one that would be good if I can get it hooked up. Uh, combine, no. Uh, Brawl is Brawl's got problems. He's not plastic addict bad. Like, I've gone through and explained what makes a toy plastic addict bad or not. It's not having one really bad feature. It's having only one good feature. That's plastic addict bad. Like Brawl's waste is bad. That's not enough to qualify him. Not even close. Uh, 
Uh, ben, I don't run everything on emulator. Anything that I can play on Steam, I'll play on Steam. Like, uh, the next, the next stream. So, uh, when we reconvene on Thursday, it will be the Street Fighter V beta, which, of course, will be played on, which will be played through Steam, which means no emulation needed. And Final Fantasy VI is going to be the Steam version after that, and that one will not need emulation. I try not to emulate unless I have to, and if I'm emulating, it's generally a game I, I actually do own a physical copy of. This is just an easy way of me being able to play it. Are any other Armada toys you have that are good? I've reviewed a few that I like. I, I like the Mall Shore. Uh, Sideways isn't bad. Uh, the Deluxe Optimus Prime is really good. When do, you, when do you get here? I usually start 9 p.m. Eastern, like it says. Uh, let's see. Sonic Dreams? No. Mad Demon, you know what that game is. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Did you get Combiner Ward Bruticus to compare to Fall of Cybertron Bruticus? I don't think there is a comparison. Uh, Fall of Cybertron Bruticus ain't that great of a toy. The Combiner War toys are way more solid. In many... In literally, actually, I uh, think of it. Undrape. Uh, don't look up Sonic Dreams. Do not look up Sonic Dreams. I'm telling you. <laughs> Please do not look up Sonic Dreams. For your own safety. You know, like, I like you. You're a buddy. Don't look up Sonic Dreams. Uh, Sonic Lost World I have on my Steam list. Uh, when I get around to buying it, that is going to be a potential for stream because I heard it's kind of crap, and kind of crap is kind of funny. Uh, Mace, I'm not going to see Force Awakens till Sunday my time. And uh, since it's been said a lot, Digimon game, a lot of Digimon games take forever to get through. So, I don't think they'd be really good on stream unless you want to sit and watch me play the same game for two months. Which, I might be considering for Final Fantasy VI. We'll see. We might do that in specific segments. Yeah, oh. Mad Demon, what have you done? What have you done? I saw Markiplier go through that. I saw the Game Grumps go through that. It's horrifying. Star Wars Battlefront 2? Maybe. That one's not too bad. Uh, Metal Gear Rising is a good game. I like playing that. It's pretty rough. It's 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 pretty it's pretty bloody and mature. I'm not gonna stream it. Uh, once a month for Final Fantasy VI would take me like two years to get through. Like I'll g I'm gonna give Final Fantasy VI like three streams or so, and we'll see how it goes because I plan to do a lot of the repetitive stuff offline. So we're go we're we're gonna see. What time do you get here, Pacific? Okay, so 9, 8, 7, it'd be 6.30 your time. Uh, Grim Fandango or Dropsy? I haven't looked into either game, so I really wouldn't know. <sighs> okay, guys, like I'd, I would like to take it to the usual two hours, ten minutes I usually do, but at this point, my throat is actually drying out pretty quickly. <laughs> and I do have a lot of things to get to. There is still more uh, with the uh, with Star Wars Episode Seven coming out. Me and Danielle will be doing like marathons every night. We're gonna be watching Episode Four on Wednesday or Episode Four on Thursday, five on five on set, uh, Friday, six on Saturday, and then Sunday we're going to Episode Seven. So I'm gonna lose a lot of evenings. So I need to get some stuff uh, done in advance. 
So, I will be seeing you guys on Thursday. We will be streaming the final, the, uh, the final, uh, the Street Fighter V beta, which should feature a bunch of the new characters, so that'll be cool to see. And after that, for the rest of the year and a little bit of January, we'll see what the Steam version of Final Fantasy VI is all about. So thank you guys for tuning in. A couple more Mega Man games down the drain uh, as we slowly march on my mission to beat all of them on stream at some point. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed and my terrible play through that final boss, but... Uh, hopefully the next, hopefully the next stream will go better, because I suck at final, I suck at, uh, Street Fighter. So, at the very least, Thursday is gonna be funny to watch. But, thank you guys for showing up. Uh, yeah, I, I, there's been a few new people here, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. It'll come up in your subscriptions when I'm streaming live, and I also tweet it out, if you're not following me there. And we will pick this up Thursday for Street Fighter V Beta. Thank you guys for watching, and good night. <laughs>